Hey everybody, my name is Kenny. I am a product leader here at GitLab and I am going to record a walkthrough of our product. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, okay, so the walkthrough is about the Kubernetes agent setup. I'm calling it round two because I had previously done a um, walkthrough of Kubernetes agent setup uh, maybe three months ago. And I wanted to do a refresh because we recently added a UI for um, creating agent records and installing the agent, kind of like a walkthrough for installing the agent. So um, I recorded the video. I uh, My expectation is that I'll be able to um, create a new project, uh, follow the instructions for how to create the configuration for the agent and set up the agent uh, so that I can do GitOps style workflows um, where uh, the agent is constantly monitoring a manifest or a, a repository where it um, consumes a manifest and deploys those applications and any manifest changes into my uh, Kubernetes cluster. So uh, I've got a doc here where I am taking notes and then I've got this base uh, group that I'm going to use and I'm going to create a new project. So I also create this fresh Kubernetes cluster um, called Ken C. Johnston production that I'm going to be using. So create a blank project. I'm going to call it Kubernetes agent setup UI. I'll say with UI. I'll make it public. Read me. Um, oh, yes, yeah. I was going to add a new file here. So when I actually, let me not do that. Um, when I go to Kubernetes clusters, I know this is infrastructure thing over here. I want to show that I have a cluster attached. It just happens to be that the uh, group I'm using GitLab examples has a cluster attached with the certificate method. I'm going to add one with agent. It says, hey, if you want to do this, you got to uh, create an, an agent um, configuration in this repository. So let's go to repository. Okay. I'm going to add a new file. And then I want to look at uh, GitLab Kubernetes agent setup. Okay. Here's the agent. Tells me about the GitOps workflow that I can utilize, get started, uh, set up the Kubernetes agent server. I don't need to do that. Define a configuration repository. Okay, I've got a configuration repository. Um, and I need to create a file that looks like that. Okay. So I'm going to add a file that is dot gitlab slash agent slash let's call this one primary agent and then config.yaml. Let's create that file. Gave me an example of what I should say here. So I want to tell it, hey, the config for this agent is to look at certain manifest projects. Where was I an ID here? Um, and then I just need to include this path to my project, which is actually up here. Yeah, okay. okay. So that's the path to my project. It's going to look for any YAML files in this project, uh, which is also the one where it's. Uh, this configuration is done. Let's commit that to the main branch. Okay. So that's this project. And I see I have one file in here. It's this. Uh, it's this config YAML file. Um, so I did that. And then let's go back to here where it told me to go look at the thing. Okay, GitLab agents. Okay. So it, now it doesn't say, hey, you need a configuration file. It says I can integrate with agent. I select one, I select the primary agent, which is picking up that config that I have in the repo. Say next, and it says, oh, okay, here's the things you need to do. Uh, basically um, run this command in your cluster, which will pull down a Docker container and install the appropriate uh, uh, agent services um, in your Kubernetes cluster to get started. So I'm gonna do that, I'm connected. Let me just make sure I'm still connected. Okay. I'm Downloading the image. All right, everything created. Let's see if I have anything here. Okay, so I've got this agent. It is deploying. Some of my pods have warnings. Um, let's see if it now registered here. Okay, I did that. 
So now it says, okay, I've got an agent. Here's where the agent con is configured. I look at the agent. It says, okay, it was created and last used. Um, let's go back to these instructions. It says, okay, I've got an agent record. Installed the agent in the cluster with those commands. And now I want to create a manifest file. So I'm just going to create, use this copy of this manifest file for Nginx deployment. And then I am going to put that in my repo. Now I add a file here. So let's call this one manifest.yaml. And then add. Uh, So the GitOps workflow should say, okay, well, I'm going to recognize that there were changes in this repository and that manifest file and ensure that the, the agent is going to ensure that the Kubernetes clusters configuration matches what's in the agent or what's defined in the manifest. Okay, does not have minimum availability. All right, so that's cool. Um, all I did was add that manifest file and the Kubernetes cluster automatically updated. Let's just showcase that this works. Uh, also, after the fact, I'm going to change replicas from two, which is two pods, to five. Committed those changes. And let's look back at All right, so now it's uh, increasing the number of pods to it's got four. Now it's got five. Okay, cool. So that is a quick showcase of the um, uh, Kubernetes agent installation process. Pretty straightforward. Uh, one thing that I am going to take some notes on is um, it would have been great when I clicked on uh, go to a repository if it provided a default path and agent name. So when I clicked on it, it kind of just took me to the general repository. It would be great if it took me to a specific create a file called in your .gitlab slash agents slash just called primary agent or first agent um, as a default for users slash config.yaml um, that kind of didn't make me jump back and forth between the two. Um, and then also it would be great if there was some kind of like status check when I connected this agent that like, yeah, you did the right thing. Um, it just says last used. I'm not even sure, is that gonna get updated? It doesn't look like it. And I feel like I, I just used it to, didn't I use it to create that? So it'd be great if there was some kind of immediate um, feedback for users that the agent was installed and connected uh, correctly to the right, to the project. So um, right now it just feels like it's just telling me about the agent record. Uh, Um, all right, but otherwise, uh, great, uh, significant improvement, you know, all uh, right within GitLab, no GraphQL endpoint needed any longer. So uh, great job team, thanks. I'm gonna stop recording now, there we go.